Hi, I'm Angela Nicholson from Camera Jabber, and in this video, I'll be explaining how to shoot sport and movement with Olympus cameras. You can shoot sport with any of Olympus's cameras, but the OMD EM1 Mark II is a particularly good choice because of its flagship autofocus system. Once you've selected your camera, the next thing you need to think about is the lens. This Enzuko Digital 40 to 150mm f2.8 Pro lens is ideal because it has a versatile focal length range. It means I can zoom in or out to frame the subject nicely as it moves. It also has a fixed maximum aperture of f2.8, which means you can zoom from one focal length to another and the maximum aperture won't change. Having a large maximum aperture of f2.8 also means you can use fast shutter speeds to freeze movement. If the action is a long way off, the MZUCO Digital ED 300mm f4 IS Pro lens makes a great choice because it has a focal length equivalence of 600mm, which means you can frame the subject tightly. If you can get close to your subject, wide-angle lenses like this MZUCO Digital 12-40mm f2.8 Pro or the 7-14mm f2.8 Pro can produce dramatic results. So what camera settings do you need to use? Well, it's usually the shutter speed that's the most important aspect of exposure when shooting sport. That's because it determines whether the subject is sharp or blurred. The easiest option is to set your camera to shutter priority mode. That's indicated by the S on the exposure mode dial. When this is activated, you set the shutter speed that you want to use while the camera takes care of the aperture. A shutter speed of 800th of a second is a good starting point. You can then speed up if you need to or slow down if you want a little bit of blur. If you want to pan with your subject to introduce background blur, start with a shutter speed of around a 30th of a second and then slow down as you get more adept. If you also want to control depth of field, the size of the sharp zone in your shots, then switch to M for manual mode. In this mode, you set both the shutter speed and the aperture value. It's also helpful to set your camera to auto ISO mode. When this is activated, the camera sets the sensitivity, also known as the ISO, to enable the selected shutter speed and aperture values. The easiest way to set the ISO to auto is via the super control panel on the screen on the back of your camera. Now let's look at the autofocus options. For many sports, continuous autofocus or CAF is the way to go. This sets the camera to continually focus as the subject gets closer or further away. Single AF or SAF can be useful with some subjects. For example, when you, when you want to shoot a subject in a particular spot, you can focus in advance and then wait for the subject to come into the frame. You can let the camera choose the AF point for you, but it's usually better to set the point and then use an area that's the right size to cover the most important part of the subject. The smaller the AF area used, the harder it is to keep the active point over the subject. But it means the focusing system is more targeted. AF tracking can be very useful as it allows you to select the starting point for the focusing and then the camera will track the subject automatically. Whichever autofocus mode you want to use, the easiest way to select it is via the super control panel. I can also press this button on the OMD EM1 Mark II and then scroll to the option I want. Next, I'm going to activate the sequential shooting. This sets the camera to shoot continuously while the shutter release is depressed. Now I'm going to scroll over to sequential low. This will allow me to shoot at 10 frames per second with the focus adjusting in continuous AF mode. If I use sequential high mode, I could shoot at 15 frames per second, but the focus would be fixed at the start of the sequence. You might have noticed there are also two pro capture modes. When either of these is selected, the camera starts recording images as soon as the shutter release is half pressed. It begins to write them to the card once the button is pressed fully. In Pro Capture High, my camera shoots at 60 frames per second, but the focus is fixed at the start of the sequence. Switching to Pro Capture Low allows me to shoot at 18 frames per second with continuous autofocusing. The really clever thing about Pro Capture Mode is that you capture images before the shutter release is fully pressed. It means you can get the shot even if you miss the decisive moment. 